Keola Dev Khana National Bird Sanctuary, formerly known as the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, is a World Heritage Site. It is located at Bharatpur in Rajasthan at a distance of 200 kilometers by road from New Delhi. It is a 29 square kilometers of man-made and man-managed mosaic of dry grasslands, woodlands and wetlands. The best way to see the park is to hire a rickshaw at 100 rupees an hour. The rickshaw pullers at these sanctuary are experienced guides and provide extremely valuable help to the visitor. Alternatively, you may also hire a bicycle at 25 rupees for six hours. The yellow-footed green pigeon, also called Haryal in Hindi, are arboreal in nature, rarely descending to ground. Their body color bends extremely well with the foliage. Oh, some extremely fast action took place. Let us see what happened. Let us see it in slow motion. Oh, it is the nest of the parakeets being plundered by a monitor lizard. This is a long-tailed shrike. Red wattled lapwing, an extremely vigilant bird and is the first to detect intrusions and raise an alarm. Their call is like, did you do it? Brahmini starling. They are found in Indian subcontinent. They favor waterlogged areas or marshy lands. Brahmini starlings are omnivorous and feed on insects and fruits. They build their nests in tree holes or artificial cavities. Their breeding season is March to September, but this varies with location. Yellow Wagtail They like damp marshes, meadows and river banks. Common Green Shank They feed on insects, worms and small fish feeding both by day and night. This is Eurasian coot. They breed at any time that conditions are favorable. During the breeding season, pairs establish and maintain their territories with vigor. Their aggression is also extended towards other species. Nests of ducks are often seized and used as roosting sites. The unfortunate owner's eggs being pushed off into water. Food is mainly obtained during underwater dives lasting up to 15 seconds and ranging down to about 7 meters in depth. These birds also graze on the land and on the surface of the water. Spot-billed duck it is a bird of freshwater lakes and marshes. It breeds from July to September. It nests on the ground in vegetation near water. They are primarily vegetarian, feeding on aquatic plants, seeds and grasses. Occasionally they feed on insects. white-breasted water hen. They mainly eat insects, small fish, aquatic invertebrates and seeds. This is a night jar. Night jars are nocturnal birds. They usually nest on the ground. Found all around the globe, these birds feed predominantly on moths and other large flying insects. Their soft plumage 
is cryptically colored to resemble the bark or leaves. They perch along a branch rather than across it. This helps them to conceal during the day. This is little grebe. Here is a white-breasted kingfisher holding a live catfish in its beak. The nest of these birds is a tunnel in an earth bank. It feeds on a wide range of prey that includes small reptiles, amphibians, crabs, small rodents and even birds. They have a very few predators. Grazing Samba Deer Purple Swamp Hen Despite being clumsy in flight, it can fly long distances and it is a good swimmer too, especially for a bird without webbed feet. The Purple Swamp Hen prefers wet areas with high rainfall, swamps, lake edges and damp pastures. This is a purple heron. Purple heron is a wading bird in the heron family. It feeds in shallow water on fish, frogs, insects, spiders, small birds, rodents and snakes. It will often wait motionless for prey or slowly stalk its victim. It is often inconspicuous despite its size. It has a slow flight with its neck retracted. These are whistling ducks. Whistling ducks are found in the tropics and subtropics. As their name implies, they have a distinctive whistling call. This is black-necked stork. These birds use freshwater natural wetland habitats such as lakes, ponds, marshes, flooded grasslands and swamps. They feed on fish and amphibians. Most prey is caught by the bird jabbing and seizing it with its large bill. The little grebe, also known as dab chick. It feeds on fish and aquatic invertebrate prey underwater. As its legs are set very far backward, it cannot walk very well. Red Crested Pochard It is a diving duck. Its breeding habitat is lowland marshes and lakes in southern Europe and Central Asia, wintering in the Indian subcontinent and Africa. They feed mainly by diving or dabbling. They predominantly feed on the roots, seeds and vegetative parts of the aquatic plants.
orange headed thrush. It is a shy secretive bird but is comparatively more easily seen than many other thrushes. It is omnivorous, eating a wide range of insects, earthworms and fruit. It nests in trees but does not form flocks. Oriental Magpie Robin It is the national bird of Bangladesh where it is called Doel. They are found across most of the Indian subcontinent and parts of Southeast Asia. It is mostly seen close to the ground, hopping along branches. Although mainly insectivorous, they are known occasionally to take flower nectar, geckos, leeches, centipedes and even fish. The Grey Heron It feeds on fish, frogs and insects. They also take small mammals and reptiles. It will often wait motionless for its prey. Spotted Eagle They are large birds of prey. They inhabit lowland forest near wet areas including meadows, bogs and marshes. Spotted Eagles eat frogs, snakes and lizards, waterfowl, fish, insects and small mammals up to the size of rabbits. They hunt in flight from a perch or on the ground. They also steal food from other raptors. This is a darter which is desperately trying to free itself from a piece of polythene stuck to its beak. Darters or the snake birds is a water bird of tropical South Asia and Southeast Asia. They are called snake birds because when they swim in water their long thin snake like neck protrudes out of water with rest of the body submerged. It appears as if a snake is swimming. It hunts for fish while its body remains submerged in water. It spears the fish underwater, bringing it above the surface, tossing and juggling it before swallowing it head first. Darters have wettable feathers. Here we found another darter drying its wings after it came out of water. This one is collared scopsowl. This species is nocturnal but can often be located by the small birds that mob it while it is roosting on a tree. It feeds mainly on beetles, grasshoppers and other insects but will also take lizards, mice and small birds. Breeding season is from February to May. Nests are in natural cavities or woodpecker holes in tree trunks. We spotted a baby python in the bush, but it won't show its head. These are Indian flapshell turtles. They are freshwater species of turtles found in South Asia. The flap shell name stems from the presence of femoral flaps located on the plastron. These flaps of skin cover the limbs when they retract into the shell. It is the most common aquatic turtle in India, 
Known to be omnivorous, its diet consists of frogs, fish, shrimp, snails, aquatic vegetation, plant leaves, flowers, fruits, grasses, and seeds. They live in the shallow, quiet, often stagnant waters of rivers, streams, and marshes. These turtles are very well adapted both morphologically and behaviorally to drought conditions. The femoral flaps that cover the retracted legs help the turtles survive the dry conditions. The Crested Serpent Eagle It is a medium-sized bird of prey that is found in forested habitats across tropical Asia. They are so called because they often feed on snakes. They roost in the interiors of trees with dense foliage. Their breeding season begins in late winter. Marsh Harrier They are birds of prey of the Harrier subfamily. They are found almost worldwide, excluding only the Americas. It hunts small mammals, frogs, fish, insects and birds, surprising them as it drifts low over the field.